Hello everyone and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. Well, Topaz Labs have done it again. They've updated Gigapixel AI. This is a pretty, pretty substantial update. It's version 5.2.0. Now, if you have an active uh, upgrade plan, an upgrade license with Topaz, this is a free update for you. Um, if you purchase your Gigapixel within a year, it should be free for you as well. Uh, if your license is expired and you've owned Gigapixel in the past, all you have to do is pay $49 and they'll upgrade it for you and you can get the new update. And also, I want to let you know that it's on sale right now. Whenever they do an update like this, they always put it on sale. It's normally $99.99 on sale for $79.99. $99. It's on sale for the next 15 days. And uh, whenever they do this, they also put their bundle on sale. And I'll show you that. And that's the utility bundle. And that includes Sharpen AI, Denoise AI, JPEG to RAW AI, and Gigapixel AI. Now that bundle normally runs you $359.96. You get it on sale for $195.99. That's a really substantial savings. Now whether you buy the bundle or just Gigapixel or you uh, do the uh, photo upgrade plan, the $49. If you click on my affiliate link in the description below and at the checkout, use my promo code, David Kelly. That's all one word, David Kelly. Then you will receive an additional 15% off. So it's a nice savings. Now, I make a small commission whenever you do that. It helps me to grow my channel. It helps me to keep these videos coming your way. And I want to, and I really appreciate that. And I want to thank you for that in advance. So, next up, we're going to go ahead and take a first look at Gigapixel AI version 5.2.0. Well, here's the new interface. Now, let me tell you what some of the new features are. Number one, we have a new crop tool right here. We can actually crop right inside of Gigapixel AI, which I think is a really great new feature. So that's one thing that we can do. The second thing is we have a new compressed AI processing model trained to enlarge photos. That's a nice new feature, and you're going to find that right here, compressed. It's a new uh, model. And three, we have the UI, the user interface overhaul. So we have a new looking interface here. And the last thing is that we can now do faster previews and our images will save faster. Now, I imagine that's all according to your processor and your, you know, your computer, your graphic processor and so on and so forth. Mileage will vary uh, from computer to computer. But those are your new... Uh, new features. So the crop tool is pretty cool. So if you click on the crop tool here, you can go ahead and uh, see where it says aspect ratio free right now. You can do a free crop any, any way you want. You know, you can pull it down, pull the sides in free form, or you could say, I want a one by one square. I want, uh, I want to do four by five, eight by 10, whatever you want. Uh, you can do the original ratio. So Say, for instance, on our little owl here, isn't he cute? <laughs> so we can go ahead and do a crop here like this. And all you have to do is click apply and it applies it. Now, here's your size down here. It's a six, 659 by 438 cropped image. All right. And right now I'm, I'm set to scale. I'm 2x, uh, two, two times uh, upsizing. So my image would end up being 1318 by 876. And of course, we have all the different things we can do here, uh, upscale by width or height. A lot of times I like to go by scale. You can go two times, four times, so on and so forth. You have face refinement, off or on, of course. This is a face of an owl, but not a human face, so we wouldn't be using that. And then we have our image, image type. We have a standard image, an architectural image, or compressed. I'm going to do a little research in the compress, but I'm imagining imagining if you do compress, it's going to uh, compress your file size a little bit. Hopefully, give you great results, but without all the extra uh, megabytes there. That's what I'm thinking it's going to do, but we'll, we'll see about that. I'll check into that. But we have this new compress model here, which is cool. We have auto settings here. So right now, I'm set for 2x. Let's go to 4x. It generates its preview. Now, of course, we have uh, under view, we can uh, see a side-by-side -side view, or we can see a single view, and we can see what it's going to look like. The image on the left is before the upsizing. The image on the right is a preview of the upsizing. 
And of course we have the auto settings here we can click on. Now I'm in standard right now. So let's click auto and let's let it generate the preview. So that's what it's gonna look like. And it's going to do a little bit of noise suppression, remove some blur. And I find these auto settings generally work well, but you can adjust these sliders. Again, this is not a full tutorial, but you know, it's a first look. But I love the crop feature here. I love the, um, the compressed here. I believe that's going to save some file sizes for us. And the auto feature is nice. I believe we've had this in the past. Haven't used Gigapixel in the past week or so, so my mind is not thinking properly today. <laughs> anyway, I got a lot going on up there today. Anyway, suppress noise and remove blur in the auto setting is really, really cool. So there is your new Gigapixel 5.2.0. Well, there it is, everyone. Now, don't forget the utility bundles on sale. You can save a lot there, as well as on Gigapixel on sale for $79.99. Gigapixel's on sale between October 22nd and up till Friday, November 6th. And this is the year 2020. If you use my affiliate link, just click on it. As I said at the beginning, click on it in the description below. And uh, at the checkout, use my coupon code, David. Kelly, all one word, David Kelly, you'll save an additional 15%. It really helps me out, and I appreciate that, and I thank you in advance for that. And don't forget, if you need to do an upgrade on your uh, your photo upgrade plan, you know, if your license is expired on the Gigapixel, you can easily uh, renew your license by going to topazlabs.com, and then just go under your account, this drop down and then click on my upgrade status and you'll be able to purchase uh, the upgrade for Gigapixel. Now it's $49, but it when, at checkout, uh, use my coupon code David Kelly. Again, one word, David Kelly, and you'll save an additional uh, 15% even off that upgrade price. So it's a nice savings. Well, there you go. Gigapixel AI now with cropping. This is a great update. I really like to know what you think about it. If you enjoyed this tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you will be notified about it. Please leave comments and questions in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Hey, I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, as always, happy editing.